Welcome to the Chinese lunar exploration, dreaming back to the moon palace. Okay, since the ancient times, the Chinese people have deep feelings with the moon. Moon is the symbol of beauty and eternity, the emotional sustainers of homesickness and love sickness. And the lunar calendar, which is based on the faces of the moon, is still being used by the Chinese people. Uh, many of the Chinese festivals are following the lunar calendar, such as the Chinese New Year. It is the first day of a lunar year. Um, there is an old Chinese legend um, about a goddess whose name is Chang'e, flying to the moon. Over the centuries, the Chinese people believe that Chang'e is living in the Moon Palace, and the only crea creature that accompanies her is a pet rabbit called Yu Tu. So this legend implies the, um, the Chinese people's curiosity to explore the universe. Now, after thousands of years, this legend comes true. Now we have found the location of the Moon Palace. And this is our goddess Chang'e 3, carrying the rabbit Yu Tu on her back, which is actually a lunar rover, and they staring at the Earth. Now let, let's start the exploration. Uh, the Chinese uh, lunar exploration is also called the Chang'e project. It, it can be divided into three phases. Phase one, uh, use a satellite to orbit the moon. Phase two, landing on the moon. Phase three, uh, jump from the surface and return back uh, to the Earth. Uh, phase one includes uh, Chang'e 1 satellites uh, launched on October 2007 and uh, Chang'e 2 satellite launched on uh, s October 2010. Uh, phase 2 uh, includes Chang'e 3 satellites launched on Oct uh, September 2013 and uh, uh, Chang'e 4 satellite launched on December last year. Uh, in the phase 3, uh, Chang'e 5 satellite will be launched on this year. Uh, Chang'e 1 satellite is Chinese first uh, uh, satellite enter the moon uh, orbit. Uh, its, uh, its scientific goal is map 3D uh, images of the lunar surface, analysis the constant uh, the use of useful element and uh, uh, distribution of the material types and uh, detect the moon and the Earth's space environment. Uh, the main mission of Chang'e 2 satellite is to get uh, uh, detailed 3D uh, images uh, with the resolution of uh, better than 10 meters. And uh, it also flew by the near Earth asteroid route to that east and sent back its uh, um, ship images. Uh, Chang'e sat, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> In Chinese, uh, Chang'e 3 satellites incorporating the lunar rover uh, Yu 2 uh, landed on the near side of the uh, moon, uh, becoming the first satellite uh, uh, to soft land on the moon since the 1976. Uh, Chang'e 4 uh, incorporating, incorporating Yu 2, the second, uh, landed on the far side of the moon. Uh, with the help of the communication uh, relay satellite, Chue uh, Qiao, um, working on the um, hello orbit of uh, Lagrange Point uh, L2. Uh, it is the world's uh, first uh, man-made detector uh, to soft land on the far side and uh, send back a uh, um, panorama. Uh, since Chang'e 4, um, China has established wide collaborations with the international society. 
Uh, Chang'e 4 carried four scientific payloads from Netherlands, Germany, Sweden, and Saudi Arabia. Uh, to, for example, search for the water, and predict the solar storms, and so on. And um, the lunar radiosotope heater by Russia helped uh, ensure Chang'e 4 to survive the long duration lunar night, which is around 30 days. Um, and the ground stations of Argentina and ESA from Europe participated in providing the observation data for the mission. And uh, LLAO, a lunar orbiter of NASA, helped with providing the, observa uh, pro providing the observation data for the landing of Chang'e 4. So at the end of this presentation, and on behalf of the Chinese space engineers who study and work in Europe, and we want to appear to appeal to the international society to let uh, explore the moon together, to share the expenses and the risks together, and to share the achievements together. So just as the Chinese poem says, long live our friendship. Though far apart, we're still able to share the beauty of the moon together. Thank you.